my head endless scrolling filled with dread searching everyone focuses on suno updates and they're great but what happens when you generate a track that's not quite perfect i found that most music generators only try to get the track right the first time but 11 labs has made a new tool that allows you to edit and refine a song after it's been created so in this video i'll show you how i've learned to use 11 labs new tool to automatically generate music tracks to add and edit lyrics in those tracks and finally the advanced settings you can use to completely transform the instruments in any song that you've created all right, so let's start by generating some tracks. You'll need to be logged into 11 Labs like I am here to follow along. There's a link in the description to start using it for free. And once you're in 11 Labs, you're going to click on this option here, music to start generating your track. So let's generate a simple pop track with AI generated lyrics. I'm going to use this prompt here. Tell 11 Labs, I just want one track generated. That is one minute long and I'll press generate. So next, we're going to see this screen while that song is generated. We can see at the bottom here that it has created the separate sections to the song. We've got the intro, the verse, chorus, bridge, and outro. They're going to be generated one by one, which we're seeing along the bottom now. And we can see here the styles that have been included and excluded from this song that's being created. So it's going to be a chill pop emotional song with simple piano and soft synth pads. Uh, and it's, made clued, and it's made sure to exclude heavy drums, guitars, and stuff like that. Great, now that's been generated, we can just play this and give it a listen. Morning light spills through the window pane. Breathe it in, release the weight again. Awesome. It's as simple as that. Really solid start. Love the vibes of that song. And as you just heard there, Eleven Labs has gone ahead and generated lyrics for me, which if we scroll down, we can see the lyrics here that it's created for this track. But say I don't like these lyrics here and I want to change them. I can do that easily. So let's change those lyrics now. So I'm just going to get rid of this word pain from window pain. I'm going to change release the weight again to release the weight of sorrow. So that sorrow rhymes with window. You can see now that my verse is now highlighted yellow here and also down here. And that means that this section has been changed and needs to be regenerated. So I can just press generate down here to regenerate that section. Let's do that now. Now the verse has just been created. And now all that's been done, let's listen to the verse again. I'll just remind you, we should now hear the singer say window and weight of sorrow to reflect those changes. Let's give this a listen. Morning light spills through the window. I breathe it in, release the weight of sorrow. Look at that. So easy to change lyrics. And this is huge for creators who want music to sound unique and individual rather than generic. I love how easy it is to edit these tracks. But let's say this verse feels a little rushed and the lyrics are sounding a bit too quickly. We can change the length of the verse by just dragging the edge of it on the timeline here and making it either longer or shorter. So I'll just make that longer and show you what happens after I regenerate this. Do that now. You can see here the whole verse is being regenerated to fill that longer length that I've set it to. And once this is done, we'll give that a play. All right, check this out. Morning light spills through the window. I breathe it in. Release the weight of sorrow. So as you can see, I was able to fine tune the length and pacing of the individual sections of my song that easily. So really easy to fine tune the length of specific sections in your song and change the lyrics of a song. But what if you want your lyrics used from the very start? I'll show you how to do that now. So let's create a brand new track with a different style. I'll type in this new prompt here. You can see I've asked for a male voice to be used in this track. Important to explain the type of singer that you want to use in your song. And right after the prompt explaining the style of the music, I can just paste in my lyrics directly into the prompt box. And the AI is smart enough to know that these are lyrics that need to be used in the track that I explained up here in the top. So let's generate that now and you can have a listen. And now that's generating, you can see the prompt over here that had the explanation of the song at the top and then my lyrics 
right underneath it. And if we scroll down while this is generating, we can see that my lyrics have been inserted into each section of the song that they were meant to be inserted in. And once this is generated, we'll give this a listen. Okay, cool. Now that's done. Let's give this a listen now. Blank page staring, ideas in my head. Endless scrolling filled with dread. Searching for that perfect sound. Nowhere it could be found. That's awesome. A completely original song with the lyrics that I wanted to use actually sung in that track. This is perfect for creating a completely original song for your channel or podcast that no one has had before. Okay, back to this prompting screen. I'm going to generate a completely instrumental track in a second that has no lyrics whatsoever. But before I show you how to do that, I want to show you something else which I think is awesome that I've just discovered in here. So check this out. If we head over to the studio on the left here, there's this new feature here, video to music. So we'll give that a click and I'll just upload a video by clicking this here to show you what this does. So here's this video of me on a skyscraper with a gold necklace and a crown and you can see that something is generating over here and we'll give that music a play now. Check this out. So what that did is it took the video that I uploaded to it of me walking around on that skyscraper, understood what was happening in the video. You can see the description here, a confident and boastful urban outdoor rooftop. The man's wearing a crown and flashy gold jewelry. The tech knows what's happening in the video and has used Eleven Labs music to generate the perfect music track to go with this footage. I just think this is really awesome. I've only just noticed this feature inside Eleven Labs and I thought I'd just quickly show it you before I show you how to generate those like instrumental only tracks. This tool works way better than you assume so yeah just make sure to give this a try if you're playing around in 11 Labs 2 but let's come out of this and generate our completely instrumental track so we're going to head back over to music on the left here and close the sidebar and now I'm going to prompt for a track which is instrumental only so that means there'll be no singing whatsoever I'm still asking for one track that's a minute long let's generate this and this now should generate me some subtle ambient music that I can use as background music for my videos just to kind of add some subtle energy under my videos but not distract from what is being said and what's happening in the videos. Great so now this has been generated we can give this a play and give it a quick listen. So perfect, nice, beautiful, calm, and ready to use. But what if we needed a high energy version of this, say for the introduction of a video? My first thought in the past of how to do this was to just simply head up to the styles and to add something like heavy drums into the included styles here, and then just making sure drums and percussion weren't within the excluded styles and press generate. And because those are universal styles for the whole track, you can see the whole song is yellow. So you think it's going to regenerate the whole song with those changes applied. And let's see what happens now and see if it does that. No, you see, there's been no drums added to the track. And this is a mistake I made the first time I tried to tweak the instruments. You actually need to use a more advanced process if you want to change the instruments in your generated song. So I realized that you need to actually go into every section and make the same change if you want those changes added to your song. So let's do that now. I'm adding heavy drums into the included style, making sure percussion's not excluded from the intro. I'll now do that for the next section, theme A heavy drums make sure percussion's not excluded and i'll just go through now and do this for the remaining three sections quickly okay that didn't work either and it was only when i went back through and i further added drums here and tight drums to the universal settings up here at the top of the song project and then I went into each section two and i added you know drums here tight drums here to each of these sections it's only then when drums got added to the track. Let's play this now and I'll show you.
So as you can see, the AI might need a few tries and a bit of heavy handed persuasion, but eventually you can edit these tracks and change the instruments exactly how you want. So I've loved discovering this. I don't think it's just an AI music generator. It's kind of like a full creative suite. Being able to create the tracks, change timings, add, remove lyrics, and change the instruments after the song has been generated is super powerful, which I haven't seen in many other places. Like I said, you can start trying out 11 Labs for free. Uh, there's a link in the description below if you want to jump over to their website. But then obviously you have to pay to use like some of their more advanced features. But the way I look at that is if you think about the money you'd normally have to pay for like expensive stock music libraries, you're saving money and you can do so much more inside 11 Labs 2 other than generating music. For example, you can generate sound effects and you can even create voices and have those voices say anything you type in. There's a tutorial here actually that I've made on how to do that in the past. I love it because you can add emotions to the voices, making them sound super realistic and then use those voices for like any audio books or videos that you make in the future to just save you a ton of time. So make sure to watch that next on how to create voices and use them in 11 labs subscribe to the channel and i'll see you again soon